the Horn of Africa overlooks one of the world's most important waterways for commercial traffic, the Gulf of Aden, and it's one of the most unstable places on earth. The Horn comprises four countries, Ethiopia, by far the largest, the war-torn Somalia, undemocratic Eritrea, and Djibouti, used by the United States and France as a regional military base of operations. The four countries are inextricably intertwined, and political events in any of them nearly always impinge on at least one of the others. 80 million people live in Ethiopia. Along with Kenya, it's the dominant force in eastern Africa. The African Union is headquartered in its capital, Addis Ababa. Its military may not be the largest in the Horn of Africa, but it is recognized as the best trained, equipped and most disciplined. While neighboring Eritrea has a population estimated to be under 6 million, its military is double the size of the Ethiopian armed forces, with some 200,000 fighters. Tens of thousands of people are estimated to have been killed during Ethiopia's war with Eritrea at the end of the 1990s. And it wasn't the first clash between the two. Eritrea fought for independence from Ethiopia in a campaign that lasted 30 years. Territorial and other disputes between Addis and Asmara rumble on. Many analysts believe that while Ethiopian forces were supporting the Western-backed government in Somalia, Eritrea was actively backing the Islamist rebels in the country. Somalia, of course, has its own problems. Hunger, disease, warlords, terrorism and more. It now has a new government headed by a former leader of the rebel Islamic Court Union. Despite the political roots of Sheikh Sharif Sheikh Ahmad, other Islamist groups led by Ashabab refuse to recognize his presidency and vow to continue attacking government forces. There's also a fear the Islamist fighters have hooked up with Al-Qaeda and could launch attacks in neighboring Kenya. All of these are reasons why both France and the United States have a permanent military presence in the fourth of the Horn of Africa states, Djibouti. Djibouti is a strategic diamond. It controls the narrow Bab al-Mandab, a channel that connects the Gulf of Aden and the Red Sea, the route from the Indian Ocean and the Gulf through the Suez and onto the markets of the West. The international forces here are leading the fight against Somali pirates while trying to keep the peace in the Horn of Africa. However, perhaps better than anyone, the Americans know just how deadly the Horn of Africa really is. Back in 1992-94, to 94, the US sent soldiers into Somalia in order to help relief efforts there. Operation Restore Hope soon faltered as the American military got caught up in the local fighting and suffered heavy casualties. The horn remains as deadly as ever, and while armies, warlords and rebels do battle, it's the millions of civilians who inevitably pay the price.